Hi everybody, I've been requested to do a short video on how I have my setup for Zoom depositions. As you can see on the right, I have a laptop computer that is for my real-time connection. The center monitor on the bottom is just an external monitor for that real-time computer. On the left is my Zoom computer. It is an all-in-one, so I don't have a CPU on the floor or on my desk taking up space. It's really nice. I like that. The top center monitor is the external monitor for that Zoom computer. I do have my selfie lamp up there at the top, my ring light. It's up and out of the way, and so it's nice being um, not on, taking up space on my desk or anything like that. Down here, I do have my writer, and I have my yoga blocks so I can prop my feet up on those. Those are a nice, um, inexpensive footrest. And I have the dual, um, the yellow dual foot pedals. The left one will do a screenshot of my Zoom computer, so if they're reading from documents, I can do a quick uh, screenshot of that and be able to have that to edit with, because oftentimes we're getting exhibits past the time we're editing the transcripts. And the right button, the right foot pedal will mute and unmute myself. I do mute myself during the depositions. That way if I cough or sneeze, I'm not gonna interrupt and I don't have to take my hands off the computer, so that's really nice. On the left down here, um, I have a hook and that's where I keep my headphones. Headphones are pricey. I spent well over a hundred bucks on them, my headphones several years ago. And so they're safe. They're not gonna get stuff thrown on them. They're not gonna take up space on my desk. All right, this is the microphone that I use for my Zoom proceedings. It's called the Samsung Go Mic, and it has a nice little clip right here. Just clips on my monitor and clips out of the way, so I'm not going to have pages hitting it, shuffling, or anything like that to interfere during the deposition, um, it, but it still picks it up, and it's just out, tucked out of the way. I have unclipped the microphone, so I can show you how I have this set up. The bottom cable right here. This is the plug for the microphone and it's just plugged into the USB of my computer right there. The top button, the top connection, I have a splitter plugged into that. Okay, what that means is that it can go to two different devices. So the one I have, this is my headphones, it's plugged straight into there. The other splitter, I have a second splitter plugged into it, so I can divide that even further. I don't feel like I've lost any audio quality on any of this. Um, not to say that can't happen, so, you know, it's something you'll just want to be aware of. I do use colored auxiliary cables. It makes it nice just to see which color goes where, so you can instantly, I don't have to have these labeled. The pink one, I have it connected to the microphone portion of this digital recorder. It's just a backup of a backup recording. I really don't use it anymore, but it's a third backup that I have if I need it. The blue cable, the blue aux cable is ran to the Andrea sound card, which plugs in through the USB on my real-time computer. And I have the blue auxiliary cable plugged into the microphone port of the Andrea sound card. I think there is some software you may need to download with this just to help it up and running and you can monitor it better. You can adjust a few things um, on that if you need to, but that's what I have for my real time and it's a nice little setup for that. Back to the Zoom computer. I have voice meter here and Audacity. Before I get to that, I do have sticky notes. I do have my contact information up here because a lot of times I will just copy and paste that into the chat section for the attorneys if they need to send me exhibits or if they get disconnected. And so this way I'm not having to type it for every depo. I can just cut it paste, cut and paste from right there. I do have here some, some briefs that I've been working on. And then over here, this is where I track my depots. I have the names there. I've got it covered up just for their privacy. I do like to protect the privacy of my witnesses, although it's public record. On Voice Meter, this is a free download as well as the Audacity software. This is where I tell it my inputs and my outputs, and this helps me to be able to record my voice so I can hear and put in the transcript what I said, because I like to do that just to show if I was having issues with an attorney or with their connections or something, it's on the record. And so that way I can hear myself you're going to go to it and you're going to tell it uh, what your input is. Here it's saying the the uh, Samsung Gold Mo Go Mic. This is the Zoom computer, internal microphone. 
This is some virtual input. And here, this is your output. You're telling it to go to the speaker at the Samsung Go mic and the speaker of the Zoom computer. And so you do have to set that out here. You can adjust these with your mouse and adjust the gain levels. And you can see as I'm talking that they're going up and down. And so this is going to record the Zoom proceedings. No, I take the, sorry. This is adjusting the inputs and the outputs on your Zoom computer. Um, and it's also going to my real-time <coughs> feed. Excuse me. This is the Audacity software. It's a wonderful recording system. It's a free download. It's audacity.com. On here, you do have to tell it where you're getting your feeds from. So I've got it from Voice Meter. Voice Meter. It's a two-stereo recording, and it's the window uh, at, uh, settings. And so you just hit record and pause and stop, and then you're going to export it. I export it to MP3. It makes it a smaller file, but you're not losing any quality. And then once you get all this set up and you go into Zoom, before you do your first depo, you're going to want to go and do the audio test. Click the microphone, audio settings, and here you're going to go test, 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 testing one, two, three. And this is set as same system. If you need to, you can adjust this. Test speaker. This is set for voice meter if you need to adjust that. Also, I unclick this part that says automatically adjust the microphone volume. I do not want that clicked. I want that unclicked. And in fact, I've had witnesses and attorneys, I asked them to go unclick that if we're having audio issues with them. But that lets you know if you're gonna be able to hear or not hear on the Zooms. Hope this helps.